Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I've got some exciting news for you. The CCIV and Lucid Motors merger may have just been confirmed by Bloomberg and that's what caused the CCIV stock to jump by 27% in one single day. I also want to talk about some other SPACs that I've recently invested in so we can find the next CCIV, CCIV2, together. SPACs are going crazy at the moment and more and more are popping up every single day. So stay tuned and let's make some money. So let's start by talking about CCIV and Lucid Motors and how Bloomberg caused the CCIV stock to gain 27% on Friday by effectively confirming that the merger is actually happening. But first off, let me tell you what Bloomberg actually is. Bloomberg is a financial software. It's a trading platform, a charting platform. It provides news, it keeps track of deal info, it has scanners, it provides analysis, it has a messaging service. It even comes with its own keyboard full of preloaded shortcuts, all for the cheap price of $24,000 a year, for two years minimum. The deal section of Bloomberg was originally updated on the 14th of January to show that CCIV or Churchill Capital had proposed to acquire Lucid Motors and the deal was in the negotiation phase. On Friday this was updated to show that the transaction was proposed and the deal was on the block, as in that's it, the deal was on the table, either take it or leave it. Now this information has come directly from Bloomberg and therefore is reliable. It's not just come from an unknown person on Twitter or Reddit starting rumours. The deal is officially proposed. It does say on the screenshot that the deal was proposed on the 11th of January. So maybe that was the first iteration of the deal and then CCIV and Lucid went back and forth on the minor details and now the final deal is on the table. This caused the market to react and rocket upwards and was also followed by some huge deals throughout the day at 9.40 near the market open and at 3pm near the market close. We've also recently seen some institutions taking up absolutely massive positions in CCIV. Magnetar Financial have just announced that they've bought around 18 million shares in CCIV which is currently worth around $700 million. HSBC has also just announced a cool 3.3 million shares, worth around 132 million. There's also been a number of large buys from Periscope, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, and many more. I personally think that the formal merger confirmation is just around the corner. There were some rumors going around on Twitter that the merger will be announced on the 18th of February. Now these rumors were apparently started by a Reddit troll, but were also apparently started by a hedge fund manager that has a wild track record of making calls that turn out to be right. If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking that red button down below to benefit from in-depth analysis on new up and coming stocks, regular news updates on fast moving stocks and expose style videos to help save you time and grow your stock portfolio. Also, be sure to check out the link to my Patreon, down in the description as well, to become part of the team and discuss stocks before they start blowing up, like BNGO, SENS, CCIV, and more. You also get access to my stock portfolio, which is updated daily, weekly live streams, one-to-one -one access, and more. But for now, let's get back to the video. Let's also give an update on some of my small cap stocks. BNGO just hit a new high of $14.43, which is so close to my $15 price target, meaning that BNGO was up 17% on the day on Friday. That came as a result of a new article published by Investor Place, some new studies released by BNGO, and a hospital testing lab in Toronto has just started using their Sapphire system. You might remember that I called BNGO back around the $5 mark. But what about SENS, one of my other stock picks? Well, I called SENS at around the $2.50 mark, and that just hit a new high of $4.35. Sensionics have just announced their 180-day glucose monitoring system is now available in Europe through Ascension. This is substantially better than the competitor's offerings, usually giving around seven days to a month of glucose monitoring per implant, whereas Sensionics offer 180 days of glucose monitoring per implant. SENS are also currently working on a 365 day monitoring implant. While currently offering the 90 day system in the US, as the 180 day system is still awaiting FDA approval. It shouldn't be too long before the 180 day system is available in the US as well, because obviously the 90 day system got the FDA approval, so it's likely that the 180 day system will get it soon as well. 
They have received confirmation from the FDA that there are some delays and backlogs as a result of the pandemic. When they do get that FDA approval, I expect the SENS stock price to break through that $5 range up towards my $10 target. But what about some other stocks that I haven't spoken about before and haven't rocketed off yet? Well, if you're part of the team on Patreon, you'll know that I've recently invested in FTOC or FTAC Olympus and also IPOF or Social Capital VI two SPACs. Let's start by talking about FTOC, and this is the SPAC that's going to be taking Payoneer public. Payoneer is basically another version of PayPal. Now, to be 100% honest and transparent, Payoneer isn't quite as good as PayPal. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that Payoneer is the best and PayPal is going bankrupt next month. Well, Payoneer has higher transaction fees than PayPal. Those transactions take longer to process. Their customer service isn't as good and you can only really use Payoneer for business purposes as you can't use Payoneer to send money to friends and family. But these I think are niggles that will get solved as their company grows larger and they benefit from economies of scale. But what Payoneer does have is decent transaction volume. Payoneer processed around $44 billion of payments in 2020. If we compare this to PayPal, PayPal processed around $934 billion of transactions in 2020. We can do some simple math to calculate Payoneer's potential market cap based on transaction volume. If we start by taking PayPal's market cap, which is around $349 billion, divided by the transactions they processed of $934 billion, and multiply it by the transactions that Payoneer processed, $44 billion, we can see that Payoneer should have a market cap of around $16 billion. Payoneer obviously have some problems that do need to be resolved, but also because they charge higher fees, they might actually generate higher profit margins than PayPal do. So let's just assume that the cons are net off by the pros. The FTOC stock currently has a market cap of around $1.2 billion, meaning that it can grow by more than 10 times its current value until it reaches that $16 billion market cap level. Obviously there are some things we need to account for, like the fact that the shares could be diluted and those cons, but basically the FTOC stock has a lot of room for growing. If you want to pick up some shares in CCIV or FTOC or IPOF, then be sure to sign up to Free Trade using my link down below in the description to get a free stock worth up to £200 when you invest a minimum of £1. Yep, that's right, you only have to invest £1 and you will get a free stock worth up to £200. But what about IPOF? What do they do? Well, IPOF is the SPAC rumoured to be merging with Rivian Motors. Rivian are kind of like Lucid Motors, but a little bit different. They already have seven separate facilities across the US, Canada and the UK. Rivian have also raised around $8.2 billion, which puts the $1 to $2 billion raised by Lucid Motors to shame. Part of that funding also comes from Amazon, who have also placed an order for 100,000 electric vehicles. Delivery is going to start in 2021 and Amazon want 10,000 vehicles by 2022 and the total 100,000 vehicles by 2030 at the latest. Rivian are also making their own electric vehicles, the R1S SUV and the R1T pickup truck. Now this is really, really good and gives them their edge. No one is really yet making electric pickup trucks. Obviously everyone's making EV saloon cars, EV hatchbacks and EV SUVs. But no one is really doing the pickup trucks yet. Tesla have announced the Cybertruck which is expected to be delivered in some time in late 2021 or even 2022. In terms of specs, both the R1T and the Cybertruck will do 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. Both of those vehicles also have a range estimate of around 450 to 500 miles. So we can see that just from those headline figures, they actually might be quite comparable. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding the notification bell, because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers!